Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I'm just going to do like a short little rant that I have. Um, it's kind of void for a lot of people. It's something I want to uh, talk about though just because, I don't know, it's something that always seems to cross my mind. I will say this though, if you are not from the U.S. or... If you are, but you're not from the state of Utah specifically, then this probably will not interest you in the slightest, but if you are, then I you could either watch or don't, I guess. But I will say this. The, when it comes to the roads, the layouts here suck. Put it in perspective this way. Back in 2006 is when I had first lived here in any kind of way. I was still living with my family at the time because I was like, what, 12 years old? Um, so, yeah, I was too young at the time to be able to be living on my own. Um, and I lived in a city that's actually north from where I live now. There was a road on that particular, um, street where it, it had a blockbuster on it, and, um, the blockbuster was between two individual, like, forked roads. The one on the, you know, although the part that would turn into both, in, like, the dead center of it, was being worked on, so usually we had to go down some other path. Um, I, it, not, it, no, it wasn't that. It was more the idea that there was, like, it was one of those roads where, like, two lanes per side. One lane was usable for w each road to go in the direction you needed to go in. Uh, the rest of the road is still kind of under construction. And this literally lasted the entirety of the six and a half years that I lived there before moving out of state um, for about four years. Sad part is when I moved back, it was still under construction. And basically nothing had been done to the roads at all. It's finished now, you know. As of this recording, 15 years later, but it basically took them 10, somewhere between 10 and 15 years to completely finish that, which is ridiculous. And that's that's not the only thing. Um, there are so many crashes that happen here because that are crazy, like crazy stuff goes on but the I think the worst aspect about the road itself is more the fact that you can get lost within a mile sometimes where I live now there are places that are worse on that front but here is still very 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 bad at that and it gets kind of annoying to be honest and that's kind of being nice I don't know I'm not really, I, I'm not going to vent about it too long, mainly because I don't really drive anyway. Uh, just because, well, first of all, I don't really have the need to um, for the circumstances that I have in my life. But either way around, this is what it is. Well, in any case, I just wanted to vent really quick about something that came to my mind. If I'm being honest, the real reason I started venting about that is it came to my mind as I was um, walking home from a subway that's like right across the street from where I live. And yeah, the layout on the sidewalk and in the road, like the crosswalk for it was so bad that I tripped over a piece of the road that normally you shouldn't and I nicked the side of my leg it didn't really ever hurt doesn't hurt still but still got me thinking about how ridiculously bad where I live is about putting something like that together anyway I'll I'm done with ranting thanks for sticking around for this video guys 
Um, how about where you're from? If you guys uh, stuck around for this, but you're not from where I am, um, what would you guys say? Would you say that the cons road construction or the driving there is good, decent, bad, okay? I don't know. How would you put it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, Want to check out any other discussion or videos that I've done prior to this? Click the link on the side of my head. Um, if that kind of stuff doesn't flow your boat, click the link on the other side where you'll find something that the channel says you might enjoy. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone. And I hope to see you in another. See you guys later.